Hey, it's Jen with another quick tip. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a Bitmoji cursor. How cool is that? Let's take a look and see what we need to do to create a Bitmoji cursor. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to select the Bitmoji that you want to be your cursor. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to find the one that I want to use. I could use this pointer here. Uh, I would suggest that you uh, choose one that doesn't have text so it's a little bit easier to see. I kind of like the pointing one right here. The pointer finger is pretty good. Any of these would work. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to save image as. We want it to be a PNG file format so that it will be have a transparent background. So I'm going to save it here and I'm just going to name it Genmoji pointer. I'm going to save it on my desktop so I can find it. So that's part, the first step. Pick the one that you want. The second step is you're going to go here to this website and I'll put the link in the description, this convertio.co because what you have to do in order to have this work on Windows. Now I will point out that this is a, a tip you can use on a Windows 10 device. This does not work on Mac unfortunately. You need to convert the PNG to a cursor file. So you're going to go to this address right here and you're going to choose the file you want to upload. And remember, we just saved it here on my desktop. Okay, so I'm going to upload that and now it's going to say Gen uh, Pointer 1 and I'm going to say Convert. Magic is happening. Now I'm going to download this file. Notice it has a .cur extension. That's what we want. So now I've downloaded it. So now the next step here is I'm going to type in Pointer, change the Pointer display or speed when I click on that. It's going to pull up Mouse Properties. And if you'll notice here, it has pointer options, but if I click over here where it says pointers, it's going to show me what are my pointers that I have in here. So right now I've got my turquoise pointer, which if you're wondering how I changed it to a turquoise and larger pointer, I'm going to go put the link to the quick tip I did previously up here. So check that out. So what I want to do here is I can actually browse and upload a new one. And we just downloaded that cursor pointer. So we're going to upload that. And voila, there it is. Now it says for my normal select. So my normal cursor, when you see it, it's going to be a little bitmoji, a genmoji. So I'm going to click apply. And as soon as I do that, there it is. I've got a genmoji cursor. It's just that easy to take a bitmoji PNG file and convert it to a cursor file and load it into Windows 10. I think it'll be a fun way to engage your participants in a session, your students or your audience when you're presenting online or when you record your screen uh, cast for class. If you found this tip beneficial, please go ahead and like this video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you are alerted for future videos. Thank you so much for watching.